Welcome to the next in our tutorials about GIMP. In this advanced tutorial, we'll show you how to do some tone mapping on the images that you might need to get some extra color or some extra different shadows and cool things that you would like to get on your photos. Starting out, what we'll do is take a picture right here. Like I've got a picture of a good night scene. We'll go ahead and start as we'll create a duplicate layer of the night scene. And what we need to do is create a special enhancement filter called advanced tone mapping. Now this doesn't normally come with GIMP. So I recommend that you go find a plugin for advanced tone mapping. It's very easy to find on the internet. Uh, GIMP itself has a repository of plugins that you're able to find advanced tone mapping. And once you get that and install it into your GIMP plugin folder, you're going to go into GIMP and use Enhance Advanced Tone Mapping under the filters. Then there, that will show you a pop-up dialog window that you'll want to switch the copies of the merge layer. You want to make it about five. Press OK. It'll create a bunch of different colors and make the whole thing look really good. From there, you want to right click on the layer and click merge down and just merge down until you get one picture, one layer. Next, you'll want to go up to the colors and do levels. And on the levels, you want to switch that to maybe about 94, 93 or 92 on the gamma. Press OK there so we can get that into our picture. The next thing you want to do is create another duplicate layer. And then on that layer, you want to click colors, desaturate. And from there, you want to actually have it at lightness. You can do luminosity, you can do average, you can see that it changes the different shades of gray. But let's choose lightness, click OK. And then you want to go back over to colors, click invert, and you'll see all the different colors inverted here. Then you want to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And you want to set that blur to about, I think I want to do 20, 20 here seems fine. So now to blur the whole image, what we're going to do with this blurred image is we are going to switch the mode on the top layer here to overlay. And now you'll see it has overlaid onto our image down below. And you want to tweak this by using the opacity bar over here on the right. So we're going to set that to about 48. And then we will merge the layers down. And now you can see we have our new image that shows the different tone maps of color that are in our night sky image. And that's how you get some tone maps in your GIMP program. 